Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for tuning in and watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate to this message. So today I'm here with a channeled messages reading from your person for all of my Taurus placements out there. So if you have Taurus as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, this message might apply to you. Um, your person is whoever is currently on your mind. You two may be in communication, in separation, at a distance from one another, just Whoever in your heart is your person, that's your person, and you'll know. Before I get started, please keep in mind that this is a general reading for all Taurus placements out there, so it might not relate to you specifically, and if it doesn't, please don't take it personally. So let's get started with some messages from your person. First we have, I notice everything. Baby, you are the one. Let's put our past behind us. Okay, so keep in mind that um, this could be your energy or your person's energy. But so far with these first three cards, um, I feel like your person is ready to like settle your differences or each other's differences. Um, you two might have like differences or even like past relationships or exes that um, aren't in the picture, but I feel like you two might have even like vented to one another about what you've gone through. Um, and with that like bad energy or whatever went down in your last relationships, they want to leave that energy behind and just start fresh and new with the two of you. Because um, it could be a situation where you two have talked about what you've gone through and your past partners and you guys were able to bond over that. And because you two have bonded over that, it's like, okay, we both didn't deserve that. Let's start over and let's start fresh with the two of us. We have baby, you are the one. So I feel like right now there are just in general with this connection, you're the only one that they see. I notice everything. Um, if you two are at a distance from one another, I feel like they're very, this person is very like, detail oriented about you or when it comes to you so like when they look at a picture of yours they check out like every little aspect um also just like looking at your page like all the time like they've already looked at it once and looked at all the posts from the past and then they'll just do that like when they're just like laying down in bed um and then if you two have like physically seen each other and you've like even caught them looking at you for a while or just staring at you, um, they're just checking out your features and like noticing every little thing about you um, because they want to know you completely. So let's get your next cards. I'm not a player, I just crush a lot. When will we see each other again? You add color to my life. Okay, so with this person and their past, they could, they could um, be the type to not like settle down or just like not, not have had commitment or like when they vented to you about their like past relationships, um, they could have maybe hinted towards it, but not even said it or 
maybe even uh what's it call it like just added themselves out like yeah because of this I did this and that led to me maybe like seeing someone else they could have vented that to you um but they had like a reason for it and that's not okay when you're in a connection or a relationship with someone but they could have told you that and owned up to it and they had a reason for it um another case could be that like if you two aren't like kind of talking right now and there's like iffy communication you could be wearing you could be it could be you that notices everything and like even you that goes on their profile and like you overthink a lot and like this isn't for everyone of course but say you notice that they followed a bunch of new people maybe you're the one like trying to see who they follow to see if there's anything more um, you could notice that they do have like a lot of friends of the opposite gender or whichever gender they're interested in and you could just be kind of jumping to conclusions. Um, then we have when, we, when will we see each other again? So you're, you're on your person's mind. They want to see you. I feel like you two have like have at least seen each other once I don't think that this is a connection uh, at, le at least not for everyone but this isn't a connection that is long distance uh, we have you add color to my life so I feel like you definitely bring out the positives onto this person and if they did have a past where they were considered a player or somewhat a player um, you, you bring them to a place where they don't want to be like that. They want to put both yours and their past behind them. They want to start fresh. All right, let's get your last three cards. I'm one person with multiple personalities. It's like I met you in a past life. I'm in my head. Okay, so I'm hoping that my phone doesn't fall from its tripod. If it does, I'll have to come back to finish this. But we have, I'm one person with multiple personalities. Um, your person could be confusing and I feel like if it is if you were able to connect like to you noticing everything about this connection like on social media and like seeing everything that they're doing and coming up with these like conclusions on who this person really is I think that you should follow Okay, so I came back with another clip, so my tripod or my phone wouldn't fall from the tripod, but like I was saying, if it is you who does notice everything about like what's going on with this person's social media, and you kind of have this feeling about them, like you just hope that they're being honest, um, I would just say follow your intuition and although they do show interest, don't, like just trust in your intuition um, because with some people, although you're what they want, they can still just entertain other people. So I would just say, be aware of that. Um, it could be possible that this person like is serious about you in their head. Um, but right now they're not ready to, to just commit to you. They still wanna entertain other people even though these other people might not 
mean what you mean to them. Um, you could feel like this person is very on one day with you and then off the next and kind of fluctuates in communication and that leaves you to be like, where do we stand? And you could be like, when will we see each other? Because um, it's like you two talk and everything's going well, but then and but then it just leads to the same patterns. You could be dealing with an air sign. We have I'm in my head and with air signs a lot of their emotions play out in their head, but with them being an air sign, it's just very foggy. So it's hard for them to like navigate their emotions. But I do feel like this person cares about you and you are special. You do stand out to them besides the other people who may or may not be involved. We have, it's like I met you in a past life. You just stand out to this person. And if it is back and forth communication, um, it's because I feel like they entertain other people, but you're still in their head um, because you just stand out to them. So yeah, in the end, I would just say, follow your intuition, Taurus, placements. Um, you stand out to them, but if they're not doing what you would like for them to do while getting to know you, and if you feel like this is kind of dragging on, then don't, don't wait for them and don't don't allow them to um, uh, bring you down in any way. So yeah, Taurus Placements, that's all I have for your reading today. I hope you were able to connect from this message. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.